Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Wednesday, so we're going to be taking a look at the starts and sits for the Thursday Night Football matchup. I will be going over the line for this game as well. So we're going to start off with the line for the Thursday Night Football game between the Arizona Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. So the over-under as of right now is 50.5 points. Definitely think it has a chance to hit the over there. The Packers are without a few of their playmakers on offense, though, so that is something to note. The Cardinals are 6.5 point favorites, which being at home, Going against the depleted Packers team, you think they'd be a little bit more favored, especially since they are undefeated as well. The implied point totals for this game, Packers 22 points, and then the Cardinals about 28 and a half. So about three touchdowns for the Packers, four touchdowns for the Cardinals, give or take a few points, a few field goals here and there. So a healthy amount of points probably being scored in this game. You know, definitely a game that you could look at hitting the over if you need to go there. I think the Cardinals do cover in this game. I think it's probably not as close as most people would think, but... Hey, Aaron Rodgers has done some crazy things in his career with less talent as well. So wouldn't be surprised if the Packers hang in there a little bit as well. But I'm definitely picking the Cardinals to win this week. We'll get moved over to the starts and sits. So we're going to go with the Packers side first. Aaron Rodgers, he's a low-end quarterback one this week. It's still Aaron Rodgers, but the talent around him is not as good this week overall. Aaron Jones, he's going to be a start. They're going to probably have to rely on him pretty heavily in this game. A.J. Dillon, he could be maybe a viable flex play in this matchup. Just depends on how the game flow goes, but... I don't really trust it at this point in time, and especially like playing somebody like that so early in the week, unless you're really, you know, like decimated at the running back position. Devontae Adams, he is not traveling with the teams, so he's unofficially ruled out essentially since he's not traveling there. I, we're not going to go into all the details there, but he's on the COVID list at this point in time. Al Lazard is officially ruled out as he is on the COVID list and he's unvaccinated, so he's going to be out for, I believe, at least 10 days. So you're looking at wide receivers, you're looking at Randall Cobb. He's like a viable wide receiver three flex play if you need to go there this week. Marquez Valdez-Scantling coming off the IR potentially tomorrow. He is on the plane with the team. At least that's what the rumor is. So he could be activated up until 4 p.m. tomorrow. So just keep your eyes out on that. If that happens, you could throw him in as kind of that wide receiver three flex play if you really need to do so. He's not somebody I would trust first week back off a hamstring injury for a guy whose biggest asset is his speed. We got Amari Rodgers, we got Aquinius St. Brown, we got Malik Taylor, we got probably one of the practice squad wide receivers up on the roster this week as well. Not interested in going to any of them unless you're super, super desperate in a super deep league or something like that. Robert Tunyon, though, he's a viable option at tight end this week. I would feel comfortable starting him. Packers defense going against a very good Arizona Cardinals offense. Packers defense is banged up. They are without their defensive coordinator and Joe Barry as well. Not sure that's a bad thing, honestly, because he's been terrible his whole career when he's been a defensive coordinator. So without going too far down that rabbit hole, maybe it helps them. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows at this point in time, but Cardinals offense is still very good. Do not start the Packers defense. Mason Crosby, if you got him as your kicker, you can feel confident starting him once again. He's been relatively solid outside of that Cincinnati week. Then on the Cardinals side, Kyler Murray, you're going to start him up pretty simple there. Chase Edmonds is running back two this week. James Conner, probably low end running back two, flex play type of option. You can play him if you need to. DeAndre Hopkins, feel comfortable starting him every single week. A.J. Green, I could see a path to A.J. Green having a nice game in this week. Probably wide receiver three, flex play if you need to go there. Same thing with Christian Kirk, Rondo Moore, maybe. I'm not sure exactly how much they're going to have to use those two in this game, especially if they get ahead early. Zach Ertz at tight end, he is definitely a viable tight end. The Packers have not been good against the tight end this season. Then the Cardinals defense. They're probably going to be middle of the pack this week. I would not recommend starting them. You're still going against Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones, so it is still a relatively decent Packers team overall. Matt Prater, the kicker, very consistent, very strong leg. I know he missed the like 68-yarder earlier in the year that Jamal Agnew took back for a touchdown, but hey, other than that one kick, he's been great this year. And they're going to put points up on the board, so why not have the kicker? But with that being said, this is a quick little rundown on the Thursday night football game this week between the Arizona Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. Should definitely be a good one. Probably not as good as it could have been, you know, if we had Devontae Adams, if we had Alan Lazard in this game, some of these other Packers players that are banged up. You could really have two uh, NFC Giants going against each other for this season, but hopefully it still kind of turns out to be a competitive game. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your fantasy football, helping you with your DFS, whether it's NFL or NBA, talking all the different football news, the injuries. There's going to be quite a few of them probably once again. I'll be going over a bunch of them in the Starts and Sits video on Saturday as well. 
at least for this game, there wasn't a lot of injuries. It was just all the COVID news, at least. So uh, that's kind of a positive, at least, if nothing else. And then with that being said, if you're a newer current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Tomorrow is Thursday, so that will be the single game showdown slate for the Thursday night football game. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.